GFM, let's get it. Hey, hey, <laughs> what? Rap. Y'all think all they gonna get it? Fuck all of the stress. Mac, what's the word? Michi, what's the word? Nation biz gotta be on it. They kill a kid. Do it with finesse, though. Maybe baller. Contest, yo. Head and spat, though. It's what the crazy motherfuckers do. Hey, rap. One more. Hey. Yo, what up, guy? We got a rab in this bitch, y'all. What it do, Shy Town, baby? I'm gonna mm -hmm. listen to the first thing real quick. He's about to jump a shorty. Fuck all of the shit. Hey. Let me hold some. Now we both bust. Yeah. I hope you understand. Nice and big. Got to be on the big kids. Hey man, you know what I have forgot I had wrote that. Yes sir. Love Yeah. Hey man, that, that shit was so dope. <laughs> That's track six, y'all, on LSD. That's uh this A rap. Uh, that's a rap verse. Uh, track six. He started at one thirty-five on track six. Um, what you what you saying? You was dope. What what what's dope about it? Man, everything, man. Like you know the 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 proposition, everything, man. When you can't ape, well, like you do this. You know, I've I've always said, yeah. When it comes to the music, because you got a different sound, you got a perfect. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, yeah, because I had stopped, you know, doing music for a while, bro. And you know, uh, you moved, and we were just, you know what I mean? Like, we were just on a whole nother page, bro. Yeah. And but nonetheless, bro, we always remain with that same connection, you know what I'm saying? Ain't shit changed, you know? We still hustle how we supposed to. We did, we did. But tell them, we've been linking since you had the store on what's that, Cicero. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. The store. Now, people don't even know about that, bro. People don't even know about that. Oh, Madison and Cicero, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. I wish it, Shiny. <laughs> what'd you say? I said, I'll. Where shit, 290. <laughs> 290 shit, you feel me? Well, introduce yourself, a -Rab. Let the people know who you are, bro. What's going on, man? I'm a -Rab from Chicago. Little village acting, you know what I'm saying? I do a music here and there. Um, I got introduced to the, a lot of the West Side people, man, to my man's uh, drum award, Triple Darkness Direct, bro. He put me under the wing. Uh, prior to that, I was rapping with a group called Waffle Gang. And it was more underground, you know what I'm saying? I've always been like a conscious rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just like to be mumbling some bullshit. But I can't knock it, bro, because it's it's art, you know? People need to understand that. Okay. Uh, it's not my cup of tea, but I respect everybody's hustle. Some some got no talent but have the money to back it, and some have, you know, right. a lot of talent but no money to back them. You uh, see what I'm saying? So, okay. And the industry is a dirty game, bro. The industry is a dirty game. It's, it's tough. It's tough at home because nobody puts you on to that that business but like even even that bro the relationship of of trust you know showing a motherfucker business plan and hey do, do, you know like nobody's gonna do that right nobody. you know what i'm saying hey i'm glad bro i remember i was trying to my, my fault i was trying to remember how i first when we linked and see even through that through the music man i was able to become into cinematography start getting into doing videos yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. uh hosting shows I'm I was gonna mention the video. They don't even know we got a video together. Right, man. Boy, and then we um, let me see. No. We got a couple, bro. Like the one, the one with um, when we was in a uh, China crib. True. Yeah. The ooh. Remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. The ooh remix. Right. Yeah. So let me tell you what I remember, bro. The first time I met was when I was hosting up at UIT Radio, bro. And I think you came up there and add two. 
That was but Shorty crazy. was like, she's like, I got the man. I still, it's, I believe it's still on, on um, I have it on uh, SoundCloud. That's how we met. Oh, yeah. God. I was like, damn, his verse, the verse, and then I was like, man, everything about it was particular, bro. He was a good person. What was her name? She was doing the radio shit early before a lot of people. Yes, yeah, she, she was. She was with DJ Envy. Uh, not Envy. I'm sorry. Um, Damn, bro. I just messed up with DJ Kid. DJ Shout out to DJ Kid, man. He's still out there doing it. You know what I'm saying? He met dude. Um, I came up there doing He found me doing music mm -hmm. uh, when I was in Florida time. And she said she wanted to interview me. And right. we met. He was helping her with the interview. And we've been locked ever since then. I want to say that was 2015? Possibly, bro. That was a while was, back. It was a while back, man. Twenty. It might have been like, yeah, because I started in twenty fourteen, so it had to be twenty fourteen. Well, possibly, because I Cause that's when that's when I had stopped. I started like twenty twelve. Started, you know, like dibbling, dabbling, and with the music and people moving around, and like about that time, uh, fifteen, sixteen. That's when I was hosting shows. Yeah. With the uh, direct, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. The live and direct show at a uh, checkerboard lounge. Facts. Hey, but tell the people where you at right now, hey, rap. Yeah. You got to see. Hey, that, even that's crazy, my dude. We made a song called Medellin. We made a song called without, Medellin. Without nothing, bro. And I'm in this. I'm in Medellin, bro. Be in Medellin <laughs> right now, y'all. I'm, I'm at my second home from home, bro. I love it out here, bro. We definitely going to do that remix with the track, bro, with the seed, with your shorty, bro. Really with that. Definitely going to come back. We got to... Uh, not only go back out there for uh, the trip to shoot the video out there in Colombia, mm -hmm. we got to make sure we get an artist out there from Colombia. Oh, yeah. So sure, sure. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to have my son, well, the Sendo mix up the whole, redo the joint. You know what I'm saying? I want to mm -hmm. come back. That shit was hard, too, bro. That shit was hard. Now, that beat was originally made by Beats for the Soul, my guy in Virginia. And I, mm -hmm. I heard I was like, this sounds like some old dope boy ish. And that's what initially I was like, nah. And it was my display too to let you know, although we were locked in and I'm doing music, I still wanted to let you know, like, nah, bro, I rock with you. Right. You feel me? Right. I made sure yeah. we made his song together and put us yeah. In, yeah. in play. You feel me? No. So, For sure, bro. Hell yeah. I appreciate that shit, B. I For real, cause bro, nevertheless, cause man, without go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. No, yeah, man, I appreciate that, man. You know, like uh, people that give you the opportunities, man. Like I said, bro, I was in a tough, tough position at a time when I was going through all this shit. You know, I was going through a freaking breakup. I was fucking broke. Uh, you know what I mean? I had to go to school. I just had a daughter. I was it was all types of messed up. Everything was against me, bro. Now with that, I never, I knew that. I knew your personal life was going through a thing, but that's why I made sure we did the song together. And the, the video, something happened right around the release. We was about to release the video. I didn't want to press you about it because it was I knew your personal life was in this space. Right, right, right. You're talking about the one, the one um actually we did two of them, bro. We did the one with Hot Boy. Shout out Hot Boy. Right, the one with the dog, not the one on the on, block. On, on 16. We was on the yeah. land. We was on the whole block. We did the one with the dog. The dog. With, with Coco. Oh yeah, yeah, at the crib. Yeah, yeah, on the Mac. Yes, sir. I, I forgot about that too, man. Damn. Actually, man, funny story. I just found that fucking uh, hard drive. I could probably put that back together, bro. <laughs> now, I'm just saying, like around that time, I knew you was in that in confusion with it, but yeah, I knew man. you. You father to a door, so I knew I, that that hurt my that hit my heart more. Then, hey man, where's my motherfucking video? Or you know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, I want to yeah, yeah. you was able to, to be there, here, yep. and here for your little girl. So yes, sir. I didn't Good. care that it went like it went. Right, no, right, right. No, you told, and we talked about it all the time, bro. Talk about it all the time. Right. Now, circle it around. We didn't put that video out. You still got it. Now my son, he make the beat, right? Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted cold hard on it. Malik instantly wrote to it. And now I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, this is our chance, well, my chance mm -hmm. to go Arab and the Mexican community that mm -hmm. I only his country.
contribution to this hip hop shit. Yeah. But the contribution to this hip hop right. shit. Be, right, right. We don't talk about it. Right. I well, we never, people never do that. Huh? I said people will never want that, they, bro. They never do that. And and I always wanted to make sure this is like, bro, yeah, what y'all got everybody on here, what y'all need to understand right now, this man right here, literally, and I, I would bet on it. He knows everybody on this album. Yeah, yeah. True. Except Shauna, bro. I ain't never met Shauna yet. I've seen him around, but I ain't never but I've been at shows with her and stuff, but yeah, just never never get a chance to sit politics, da da da, you know. See what I'm saying? No, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. There is no way in the world that you didn't help convert your people to listeners for them. Like, bro, you drama war. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So drama war what it's all about togetherness bars black right so, yes sir the fact that you signed to drum award or you wear drum award to me right, right. as soon as we met it i always had a personal issue with the fact that chicago don't know you right a lot man you know and i i don't i don't blame them you know what i'm saying i i never really did anything other than helping out i never helped myself you know what I'm saying? I never put myself first because it was more than just me. You feel me? I agree. You humble. You're a good ass mm -hmm. man. That's why I love you. Mm -hmm. But you signed to somebody, right? No, 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 no. Let me. Let's. I don't want to. Let's not put it. I, I, I got blessed in with the rag. All these people. They put me in there. Like, man, we just going to drum award. There was never no signing on it. And I, you know, I'm like, even, even then, bro. You know, uh, there was never no paperwork behind it because, because of my wishy-washy in and out shit you know what i'm saying there was plans to you know direct direct had a a, a, a vision uh of, of new artists and you know that he had uh shout out amac amac uh, a couple of other people bro that were under him that you know that were that were putting on bro and um when he gave me the opportunity bro he saw other he saw other things in me bro he's like man you good with the camera Abraham, you good with the camera? I'm damn. I, I got to the camera. He's like, man, you know what? You funny as hell. Like, you so goofy as the host, and I'm hosting now. You know what I'm saying? Cool, cool. And then from the hosting part, man, other people were like, yeah, you know, I got a little notoriety, bro. But it was just wasn't. I wasn't pushing myself. You feel what I'm saying? Because I was not consistent, bro. You know, even even with the comedian side, bro. Like all the comedians, you know, Niche, uh, M Dubs, Michi, D -Bron. all these people, bro. D Brown, bro. I, I'm telling you, I started with them before I started the music, bro. Just going to their shows and mm -hmm. understanding the art of being on that stage. Do you understand what I'm saying? To to. So, so was it just you diving into the culture? Because we can't deny the fact that the <clears throat> I've heard people say, "Oh yeah, my Mexican homie." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, "Hey, right, nigga." Like. <laughs> like <laughs> Because <laughs> at the end of the day, although you L A rap, you match right, 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 right. <laughs> Which is why, yeah, it was it was a lot about that. But it's funny that story is is, is bro since nineteen ninety two. <laughs> My friends is fucking making fun of me. They was just A rap, A rap. And, you know, uh, when I got out, uh, and then I started kind of pursuing this, you know, uh, field or occupation of rapping. Uh, I was like, man, what am I going to call? Me? I didn't want to call myself some shit that people didn't know me in the street. Cause that's what hip hop to me was. Right. The gutter, the ground zero, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's that's what it was, A-Rap, you know? And so um, the other part is that I ended up, you know, doing, uh, joining the military service, Marine Corps, did my oh, the time. And then right. I actually went and learned Arabic <laughs> in, Iraq, in time of what? You know what I mean? Like, so my, like how you said, bro, everything comes to full circle bro and that's hard bam, who would have known who would have known that happened so that that's i wouldn't hard. i wouldn't change it that's cold. i get i get backlash a lot of time bro from a lot of brothers they don't it's i don't i, I think they might say it like that because they don't want to say a rap you know right. what i mean they would right. be like oh i'll call you rap. but that's yeah. like saying the n word of and i'm like man it's that's you, you know what i mean i'm not I, I understand because you're intelligent you're you're considering you understand bro but you know what i'm saying it comes with a long a territory shit so tell us, I know with that, and I know I can imagine that that creates some difficulty, but you sort of took the ridicule of the people you grew up with. And made it something. 
So you can't necessarily say it. And to that person's feelings, you can't be like, ha -ha, don't I look <laughs> like, Right, you know? right, right, right. <laughs> you can't. Still right with it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you are who you are and you represent a strong ass culture. Although yeah. hip hop is our culture, or mm -hmm. black culture, mm -hmm. Mexican culture alone, this stand alone mm -hmm. without the damn, without hip hop. Mm -hmm. So for me, I always respected your, mm -hmm. your, and the many hats you, I've seen you wear mm -hmm. in a culture that ain't quote unquote yours how some people you know what i'm saying i feel, I feel yeah yeah so man I, I feel as though maybe that and i get you you're not you're not wrong uh i think that's an older generation bro you know what i'm saying like myself okay. you and you and i i would like to say that we went on a different route we we've been educated you feel what i'm saying right. but we still was educated from the block right. uh a lot of people don't understand and got past that, but so they still Before stuck in the way. All this, you know what I'm saying? Yes. We got it. That's the level that we was on, bro. But we can't. I've heard it myself. You know, most people be like, "Oh yeah, by the blacks," and I'm like, "Bro, that's hip hop. How can you? How can you say this? But listen to hip hop or act that way or it, it never it doesn't make oh, sense to me." Never. Shit. Then, so. Right, right, right. It's just I was I was never for it, bro. I got a lot of family, bro. Uh, black, brown, all. Kind of like just within my own Ooh. family, it's a melting pot. Yeah, facts. The threat. What's the word? Little threat. You know, bro, 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 been here rocking with us ever since we started when we kicked the joint off for real. But and and I agree with that rap. That's why I just said I wanted to just make sure I'm not I'm picking at it because no, no, no. I've uh, I've been cognizant of the position. Correct. Correct. You see what I'm saying. Yeah. Bro, you and, know how I'm cognitive of it with yourself. I'm walking through the holy. Who the fuck would you know what I'm saying? <laughs> who who like what makes you just like? And if it's that day in the car trying to pop some, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Nah, bro. I have a whole different kicker ticket yeah. because of brothers like you. You know what I'm saying? That we bridging that we can. I like what you were saying. But, oh, um, I was waiting for the. I can't remember whose interview it was, bro, but you were saying it, and I was, I, I, I know I wrote it on there. I can't remember who you were talking to, but uh, consolidation. Consolidation. That's what me and you, that's what me and you could, we, we the mesh. We big bro and little bro at the same time, Bye. you feel me? And we ain't, it just went, it, it, it went. It, we consolidate, bro. I want, I'm, whatever, there's that pothole, I fucking fill it in. Bye. Right? That, that's how I feel, bro. Or bring it on, hey, bro, y'all didn't know about this, though. you didn't know about them. Bro, check it. You know what I mean? Hey, keep in mind, again, yes, I know what you mean. Why? Because you introduced me to Wild Style and Vito. Yeah, yeah. We were at the circle. And Garfield. <laughs> we got to add that because we not saying areas. Right. We, we saying areas that are typically racially biased, bro. We know. <laughs> it's Chicago, though. It's Chicago. It, it wouldn't be Chicago if it's not segregated. Based off, we know that. But you here, you're in these places still right. connecting these people right. who ought to be talking, mm -hmm. but they not. Yeah. It's a person, you, right there, that's, hey, man, you, like you said, hey, you don't know this person, you don't know that person, you don't know this, you don't know this person, you don't know that person. So yeah. I take that away, and I'm doing it deliberately because I've seen people take that away. Mm -hmm. so I, I still preach that, that way. Huh? Still preach that way, that same line. No, I'm like, man, that's... and to take it away from you, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. So it's just, nah, I'm giving them roses, like deliberately yeah. to the point right we to my bro. love, bro. We 20 Thank minutes as a verse. You see what I'm saying? Your Bible. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Just kicked it off. You know what I'm saying? And to that yes, audit is Matthew 125. Mm -hmm. But he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> And that's the song, Mr. Block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, he, that's he crazy. Didn't have time to work, y'all. We were supposed to meet the mob. Fact. 
Excellent. But look how this, this verse aligns with your culture, with everything, the the song, the <laughs> everything, bro. Everything. Everything, so bro, comes back to the to the let it be as it was, bro. That's what I be saying. Come back to the full circle, three hundred and sixty. So we follow <laughs> in that order, that three hundred and sixty, bro. We gotta follow that order because it's been rewarding. Yeah, it's been yeah, rewarding. yeah. So yes, it's sir. like so. Talk to us about um, publishing, man. <laughs> man, um, talk to us about publishing. It's it's a lot, bro. It, it's it's still shit that I'm unsure of. You know, uh, I didn't learn about it, man. Like I, I just no one talks about this shit. People are, hey, man, I'm charging you this much for a feature, and you know, such such. I ignorant to the to the to the how important all this stuff is in the beginning, bro. Because right. on the long run, now you you leave with a nasty taste in your mouth, and that's kind of what it was for me, bro. That's what kind of uh, right. everybody tries to, and I get it. That's why right. I, I, right. I could but, see uh, yeah, so, good ass dude. And it's just mm -hmm. what you mean, how we get that cool and you ain't tell me. Right, right. All the way through and shit. And you know what I'm saying? It's like you just drove me to the end and not let me like, yeah. Anyways, uh I wasn't bitter, bro, but I, I I took it for what it was. But uh I didn't go the regular route, bro. Um through publishing. I know everybody was used to um, ASCAP and BMI and shit, and I, I didn't. I got hooked on by a bro. Shout out, uh, Lucci Lucci Brown, bro, West Side California rapper, bro, out in Mexico now. But uh, he put me on. He like, man, check out CSAC. Somebody got a vouch for you to get on that shit. My man's vouch. He like, man, go on the damn day. <laughs> I, 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 I personally think that they have a better whole like system. Who? Because it's international. Right. It ain't. And so where I jacked up, it's just not following in suit with that shit, you know. Okay. Um, I got, uh, didn't take care of the business of that, but had the publishing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, people don't understand. Even if you're as a publisher, bro, you can write books. You know what I'm saying? Shit to make they, money. You could, I don't, it's they crazy. Don't tell us, though. But if anybody no, yeah. can cross my path, first thing we doing is getting that publishing in order. Because how the fuck are you going to get paid? And, you know, you ain't going to come at me later talking about some damn dog, you got a million. Yeah, I would have gave you 250 then. I'm giving you 250 now. <laughs> so now you say you had, you, you, you're an artist. Uh, you a videographer. What other hats you wearing in the industry? Shit, the most important one, man, I'm a father, shit. I'm a father, uh, entrepreneur, businessman, investor. A veteran, a lot of hats, man. Uh, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> period. <laughs> I be telling them, capital A for the ladies, I'm available. Uh. <laughs> no, <laughs> if you're a brother, the A is for attorney at law, call me. <laughs> you feel me? Now, the hat you heard right now, that's your store. When you say you're an entrepreneur, the entrepreneur hat, that's your store? That's Get Smoked? Yeah, man. That's, a, uh, that's my cousin. Shout out, man. He made the brand. I became business partners with him and shit, and we just ran off, man. Like, uh, he had a great idea. I just had visions of doing it another way, uh, legit. You know what I'm saying? Running it. Hey, let's put this shit out. It's a. This is more important. Branding. Branding. You know, it's, it's it's about everything, bro. And it was matter of fact, man. It was you, and I got this shit on tapes, bro. I was just going through like videos, like I said, I just found my hard drive, uh -huh. and bro, like. B-roll stuff that we just talking. We just I just happen to turn the camera on and we talking about the same stuff. You're like, man, man, it's not the same thing as if you have a job as you putting it yourself. Like you the risk, you know. I'm like, yeah, bro, uh, bro. I'll show it to you. We was in sarcastic uh, basement. I tell you, how is that not sar uh, consistency? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Show and prove right there, right there, uh, again, right there. Other brown influence. Shout out, sarcastic. Mm -hmm. Ego do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sarcastic state. He stay in the Austin community, right? Uh, and, and and that's where we recorded Medellin. At. Facts. We recorded Medellin. We recorded Medellin with the bro. And then we had old boy with us too, Don Prende. Um, it's a Mohawk. Yeah, yeah, Mohawk. Mohawk. I'm Mohawk. You remember? He's well, bro. He's doing his thing, man. He got to school. He's, he's doing a lot of stuff, you know. Our veteran brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, bro. Oh, he's a righteous brother too. 
what made he look I, I, like he a real good dude, like a real good dude. Now, like I, we tapped in, we follow each other on on, on here on the ground. Now, what, I'm saying, what made you go be a vet and come back like that? Because that's where you met Mohawk, right? Yeah, man. Uh, I met him actually on Veterans Day. Mm. <laughs> it was actually the Marine Corps birthday, November 10th, when I met him, bro, a few years back. Um, shit, man. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to say a lie and tell you, oh, man, I grew up. I wanted to be, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. I was in one of those situations where I'm like, shit, well, what am I going to do with my life? Okay. I didn't expect to live over 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the right. bullshit and do 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 right. But uh, given an opportunity, I was like, fuck it. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do, but shit. I know that they, 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 they could straighten me out. It ain't my war, none of this shit. Da, 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 da. But I know that it's going to take me somewhere different. That's hard. Uh, Why not? Came back home, and man, dog, it's, I feel like I got my fucking wings clipped off. Like, <laughs> yeah, I fell to back to earth, bro. And it's, it's like fucking, I warped back. Words, man. Like everything is behind time, and it's it's fucking dysfunctional. You know what I mean? It's it's a whole different culture, man. Oh, it's it's a whole different culture. What you mean? Uh, the culture over there compared to over here? I mean, like just the military. Okay, the, the military in general. It's it's a whole different culture, bro. You know, it's a job, but it's also like the mentality, the you know, the 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 courtesies, the customs, the 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 mannerism, all that shit. You know, it's completely different, bro. So you grew to learn and love that. I appreciated it. You know what I'm saying? I get, it gave me hope again that to find order. that there's good people out there. In that order. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Then when I when but I it, get out, man, you're not you're not getting that. What you say? I said, but when I get out, that's why I said I feel like I got my wings clipped because it, it ain't like that out here. It's no but, love. It's but, cutthroat. It wasn't the order to, like, that you was getting with the kings. Right. Not nah, nah, just in general, bro. Just Chicago motherfuckers, bro. I'm, just you I'm, know what I'm, I mean? Like I'm sticking it. To to the organization because I know Chicago like that, but as we say, Chicago is segregated. Right. But we are mm -hmm. also a part of these organizations that right. we didn't see living past 18. Anymore, right. Right? So right, right, right. Now, right. you go there and it's like, damn, this didn't give me what I wanted. Because right. I'm still desiring more, yet I go over here to the military. Mm-hmm. And this is our, this is, okay, this is what I thought. Do, it should, doing the same shit, really. You feel? <laughs> Packing pictures and all that. <laughs> but it got the honor on it, huh? Yeah, the, the stamp. That's that's really what it was, bro. But nah, man, shout out to the brothers too, man. Uh, They they vouch, you know what I'm saying? They stamp behind everything I did, bro. They, man, you did good, you well, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, bro. I love them, bros, and that's what I said. I, I wouldn't turn my back on that shit, bro, like, because even though they have problems, Man, I can't. How do I fix it, bro? You know what I'm saying? I can't just be a, a, a idle, a idle brother. Just I, man, this although, shit is going for the word. Although I, I think too, that's what makes your album that much more mm. important, <coughs> bro. You hear? I don't know. I never recording. You recording while you in Colombia? No, no. I want to, bro. I wanted to, but I, I don't want to just do some freestyle. I don't like, I've never been like that kind of person, bro. I like some, you know, plan, and plot, strategize, right, and bomb right. first. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I'm with you, but you still got to, you got to make that history down there. With that said, yeah. I know you in be a what, at least once every 90 days, once a quarter, right? Mm -hmm. At this point, right? Yeah, basically now. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just dope like, here, man. before the, I know, and, and it's literally only costing, what, an L.A. trip. From Chicago to LA, probably, 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 probably less than the LA trip, to be honest, bro. You see what I'm saying? But I'm saying yeah. that and begging that on the state. I think we need to try to in one of these quarters before 23 let out. We need to get down to Columbia and really make a thing out of that, bro. Man. And I'm telling you, because you 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 think it's brown, bro, but you'll see how many black brothers here. You see what I'm saying? We're talking about views, but the culture. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. It's 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 even messed up on the brown side, bro, because they're we could say Latinos, right? But there's blonde hair, blue eyed, and they feel better than a a, a person that's my color. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They even even society will pick a light skinned Mexican before they see me. Black. You see them? He looks. He looks, he looks like a Paul. Let's put up. You know what I mean? All of just appearance. Columbia. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bro. These people, I love them, bro. I love them, man. They're, they're, these people are hardworking, fucking people, bro. Uh, beautiful women, food, their whole land, bro. It's just. 
I was telling the the Uber driver today, bro, like I'm like, man, because he he was from uh, from here, grew up here, but he went to the state side, right? Mm -hmm. And he was like, man, yeah, it's beautiful. And I was telling him, man, why he was asking me why I like Columbia. And I was like, man, it's just the green. Because when you live in Chicago, bro, it's a concrete jungle. It's just, and it's, it right. makes you so anxious because there's people, like, all over the place. You're tight. And you, you know what I'm saying? Right. But when you get here, bro, I promise to God, there's a thousand billion trillion motherfucking people out here, bro. But it doesn't feel like that because it's just fucking so spaced out and green everywhere, bro. You're just happy out here. Right. You can't right. do nothing but just be happy out here. What are some of your influences? Who influenced you to be like this? Hey, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? There's like, a person. Man, uh, man, I think musically, I built this shit, but I had, I had great musically and musical career. Musically and Damn, bro. <clears throat> um, shit, a lot of motherfuckers, bro. But who made me actually gave me like confidence was Buck, bro, Buck, because I've always been a person that had Buck, Buck. Oh, yes, sir. Buck. Yeah. You know, but the drama war, yeah. <clears throat> I was telling the story. I'm like, man, even I even named myself. That's you know, magic. They call me magic. Dude. The same. Uh, <clears throat> what I saying? Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, I can't remember the, the the track what it was called, but he was like, man, I used to rock some shit, and then I rocked the pages off the. I was like, this motherfucker spitting bars. He was like the first Chicago oh. motherfucker that felt like was like the New York. You know what I'm talking about? And I was like, damn, because you don't you don't hear it. We all in our time. And I didn't really start listening to music till like about 1994, 95, you know. Um, and I started backwards. I started with Tupac. So Tupac was everybody killer. I'm, I'm everybody. I'm behind Tupac, bro. Right. And then when he passed away, I'm like, damn, what the fuck am I going to listen to? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 94, 95, 96. Boom. I didn't even know Chicago had their whole little fucking giddy up. Damn. I'm at the Discom Mall. I'm at North Riverside. I'm, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? I'm, damn. That's thing you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And then, then it's even that shit, bro. That's crazy, bro. I mean, now the brothers seen that shit. They're like, man, bro, you with them? Like, man, making the seemingly impossible possible. Things we would never think of doing. Crossing that bridge, that's walking through. Holy, uh, a rap. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I love a rap, and that's why I gotta let you know that because although the race we up against these these isms, right. you still go cross across your back, and you walk. Right. Bro, like you're not using the stuff we talking about as the mm -hmm. reasons to not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I still see in in actual walking embodiment of what, and that's a big, big ass salute, bro. You know what I'm saying? Credit to my brother. Love. How long? Damn, we had some good times, bro. Huh? Huh? Now I'm trying to remember, bro. Oh, how about that one show that you did? Um, my shit was Pirates. Pirate. But um, <laughs> where the fuck? This was like on um, Roosevelt. I can't remember, but one of my boys was there, bro, and he had the cookie joint. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what what was uh, it? Um, the, uh, the, hey, the, I'm my bad. I just I tweaked out. I was tweaking off of you. Uh, huh. uh, was it the New Year's Eve show? Ma, I was thinking. Well, what show you some? Was it uh when we was at uh? Man, I can't even remember the name of the damn place, bro. It was out by Oak Brook or something like that. But my man, a, uh, a. M., a. M. Early Morning was there. Tall about here, bro. This was before, like, the edibles was a thing and shit. But he had that payout, bro. And I was like, real, bro, check. He throwing them out and, while he's performing after you. Was that a block club DJ uh, event? I think that. Man, like, like, I'd be alive. I told you, yeah, man. I can't remember 100%. See, you been in it, bro. How long you been rapping, bro? I would say since, like, fucking third, fourth grade, bro. Like, just poetry. <laughs> For real? Poetry. You know what I mean? Like, I, I figured it out. Like, you know, it was, it was poetry. My teacher was the one that actually told me. It's like, you don't, you don't like poetry? And I'm like, uh, you know. She was like, because it's just like rap. And, bro, it, that just, just stuck to me. I would just fucking write all day poems to bitches and then make it into songs. I'd hear a beat and started learning. I'm like, damn. So that's why I say Crazy story, bro. Huh? What you say? Crazy story. Go ahead. No, I still don't know how to count 16s. I'll go over 16s. <laughs> For real? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I still got to sit there like one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to count bars? i still be off, bro. <laughs> that's the handicap. <laughs> that's, my, that's the crazy thing, though, because I, I feel I'm, 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 what, what's that word I'm looking for? I'm, I'm, I'm unorthodox, bro. Like, I, I, 
within those 16 bars, I say so much. You gonna see. I want to say it. Go sit in. You know, I'm, I'm saying so much trying to get it in and then and, and then I I'll change up the fucking flow in the middle of that rapping. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy too, though. That's Got that crazy. shit from Drama Boy and Triple Darkness, bro. The way they, you know, direct, bro. That motherfucker's a monster. So how are you doing songs like Heart of My City, My War, and Life I Love? Mm -hmm. Count bars like them records, bro. Hey, who yeah. putting you in on songs like that? Then, man, A Mac, bro. A Mac, bro. He was he was another consolidated for me, bro. He was another another vouch. Like, yo, boom, you got to listen to this guy, y'all. Y'all got to listen to this guy. And then they saw. Then that's when I was really consistent, bro. Before I had my daughter and shit. And after I had my daughter, I won't blame it. It's just you got to you know prioritize things, bro. And I was I wasn't getting money like that off right. of rapping. You know what I'm saying? adapt to raise the baby girl yeah man i had to it was ain't no time in and time out on this shit bro she they hungry no, you right. gotta have something on the telephone <clears throat> i'm gonna can't explain gonna hit with the hollers and shit and with my pup that he put that flow direct flow stupid boy oh yeah man with that pain that beat i was jealous i wasn't on that bitch i'm down huh I said I was jealous I wasn't on that bitch. That shit went the beat, doom, when it dropped on. What the fuck is this? See, you on the, on the, on the, Mr. Block. Yeah. Hey, man, bro, that shit was wild, too, man. People don't even know that. I, that was a while ago, and I'm, that damn, when that shit. <laughs> but what I was saying, I, I think I was thinking about shooting, if we, the, my, they, I was saying if we shot a video to anything on the album, it'd be the Mr. Block first, and it'd probably Oh, bro, happen. that shit would be raw. In Columbia. Going down 26th Street. Oh, yeah. We could do that even there, bro. Little B-roll B shit. Yeah, like, I'm thinking Columbia. The hard part is getting cold hard to come out. <laughs> right, right. Nah, shout out to the crew, Cruise of Conflict, bro. They're my brothers, bro. Kilo, Pete, Greedy Mac. That's my motherfucking dude. Hey, hey that day, too, Kilo was in that park, too. Mm -hmm. I, I saw the importance of Kilo. When you introduced me and B-Lo, uh, B-Lo and Wild. Uh, Kilo's there too. Salute man, Kilo. Kilo is man. He should have been a historian of the Chicago shit, bro. I love having conversations with that brother, bro. He, for real, for real. Like just some um, organization shit. He, he is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe in that part. Did we discuss how he got Wild Style on the crystals? Cause he, oh yeah, he yeah, did yeah, talk. Yes, yeah, man. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh my. sitting at the park. How crazy was that, bro? I'm like, yeah, bro, come on, slide. I got you. So, you like, you ain't. I'm at the circle, bro. Come through, be low in this bitch, do or die in this month. Yeah, come on, come kick it, bro. Pull in the park in Garfield Park. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling on the hill. Talking about crystals. Right. <laughs> crazy as hell. Politicking too, bro. Talking. We. I mean, but see what I'm saying, bro. We was having conscious, fucking, wisdom talk. Wisdom. We weren't talking about bullshit. We weren't talking about destruction. We weren't talking about none of that shit. Right. You man. know? Man, with that. That's all I'm saying. I'm still waiting on uh, b low and or, uh, if we can, uh, AK to uh, go ahead and confirm for the for the GFM. <laughs> Who you know? That'd be dope, man. I love the bullshit. b -Low's a that motherfucker dope, too, bro. I did a verse with him. I never even released that. But well, he went hard, bro. We were chilling yeah. out there for a minute. I was, I was even gonna be with them, bro, with his, uh, his crew, Po House and shit. I stuck with him a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, for real? Yeah, bro. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I met him through one of the guys that actually I did a feature with, with uh, Center Row. With Center Center Row? No, no, Center Center Row. Center Row. All right, all right. I haven't seen that brother in a long time, bro. But you know, through him, he's like, "Come on, rap, do do do." Brought me, introduced me and shit, and he was. You know, we we were cool, bro. <clears throat> you in it? You been in it, bro? When? Yeah, yeah. You working on the album? When the album coming out? What you working on right now? Man, if I I would I would definitely the way the game's going, man. Like, man, you you're killing the game. You know, you got a fucking a catalog, right? So if you do blow up, it's not a, a question. But now people, when they start from hearing you from when you blow up, to be like, oh shit, you gotta go start back. The way I'm looking at it now, people are making money off fucking sing, uh, you know, singles. They ride that fucking wave, so people so, get it, and you know what I'm so saying. It, it's deterring you for thinking about just cataloging and putting it out. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, man, I, do I want to make money or do I want to? <laughs> don't, oh, Ralph, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm backwards, boy. 
sit out, man. Facts, facts. Yeah. Yeah, so gotta gotta get that paperwork right, bro. Talking about the publishing and shit. Gotta get my paperwork back again, right? And then uh get to it, man. Step to that shit. So what we gotta do to get the paperwork back right? I just gotta sit down and do it, man. I just been too busy fucking traveling here and there and okay. you know, taking care of things with the cuz. Okay. Um with you know what I mean? So uh with the smoke shop. Yeah, yeah, man. We we kinda lost that thing, but we have another we had a printing company still. So okay. you know, shout out, get smoke. Check us out, and uh, you know whatever for your printing needs, hit us up. <laughs> All right, no, no, but at the end of the day, we need that album, rap, because the history you just displayed these last forty minutes alone, mm -hmm. I think is enough to help you and your mm -hmm. people understand how, how instrumental in Chicago's music scene you are, bro. Yeah, it we can't get that point without your album. Facts, facts. Yeah, <laughs> I know they're gonna be like, Man, he's definitely drum war, he's definitely hip hop. He, you know, because like, you definitely drum war, they can't get that without that. So, as right. we, before we close out, as we close out, you know, we starting the thing on GFM, but we asking everybody for the five songs that they would play for God to get into heaven. Easy, bro. How long would it mourn me? Whoa, that ain't that easy. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Nobody, let me... How long would it mourn me? Well, I'm not okay. gonna lie. I'm gonna, it's, it's probably gonna be all Tupac songs, bro. Word. <laughs> Word. I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, no. Would it mourn me? Bury me a G. <laughs> That's three. Hail Mary. <laughs> and then I, I will go um and listen to what my pops told me. So what's the name of that damn track? Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Yeah. Blasphemy. Yeah. Listen to the to the Lord in the veins while the people in the ghetto use them them. You know what I'm saying? As they just pop on with the patois. You know what I'm saying? Man. I still not team. Yeah. That's hard. <laughs> hey. All five of them. <laughs> Say that again. Our representative, our Mexican brother, would pick all two pop songs. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You have to, bro. That shit <laughs> shock the hell out of me, bro. You said a couple of things shock me. You guys, you can't count bars that you still, and you ain't even interested in count bars. <clears throat> not, not at all, bro. <clears throat> bro, <clears throat> hey, let me tell you how cold my engineers were, bro. <laughs> They went around and did a song around like <laughs> 14 bars. <laughs> but the shit is cold as hell. And I did that track with Side Side, side from Psychodrama, dog. That's hard. That's that shit's hard. on SoundCloud, bro. You find that shit on SoundCloud. It's out there on SoundCloud. You got a, you got a song with Side? <clears throat> yeah. Come on, bro. You need to toot your own horn a little bit now because you, you in it. You in it. Look. You know yeah. what I think? Yeah, Look. you know what I think it is, bro? I'm... I'm I'm not in it for the fame, bro, you know? And it's just something that comes with it. Now, I don't want to say I'm 100% like I'm private, but it's just I, I want that privacy, bro. Like, I don't care to fucking, you know, I, I like to be humble. What about the future, right? Bears. What about 30 years from now when these people that you just said didn't say your name on the song or ain't put mm -hmm. record? How 50 years from now they going to know who, 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 like, they, how, how they going to know? My daughter, bro. <laughs> okay. My daughter going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, she, she, when she heard that shit, she's like, what are you doing on a new track? So I didn't even tell her. You know what I'm saying? I just pop in LSD, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, let me see. I was excited. I'm do, 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 right away. Happy to hear People it. listening to it. Uh -huh. she, 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 she hit the roof when she heard you. <laughs> She looked at me. She, when you record that shit? <laughs> she heard. You like? She knows what oh, I do, bro. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. That's amazing, rap. That so that I'm trying to show her a little bit day by day. I, like I be sometimes I be talking to her and then I hear some shit and uh, you know, like uh maybe the song's gone along. She so got that little instrumental in the back of it. Now just start rapping for her and, and I try to get her to do it. You know what I mean? That's hard, rap. That's hard. So any last comments, bro? Before we get out of here, you're a phenomenal father, bro. Man, shout out 
Shout to man, shout out to you, man. You need your roses too, bro. For the consolidation part, bro, you, they, that shit is heavy, bro. The literature you stand on, all that, it, it's that's all I gotta say, man. I appreciate you, the people out there. I wish we keep doing shit like this because this is the positive shit that we promote, promoting peace. You know what I'm saying? That way. And uh, man, shout out to Chicago. I love y'all at the crib and shit. I'm gonna do the thing in Medellin, though. So how long are you gonna be down there, in Medellin? <laughs> I'll be here for a little minute. A little minute. I might fuck around by a crib. Type yeah. Shit. Boss talk, y'all hear him? <laughs> and that's I'm coming out here this much, might as well, baby. Just playing mortgage and shit. Oh God, I agree. Well, Rob, we gonna again. Your verse for today was the word is consolidation as threat. Yeah. In the verse for the day, sweating out here. <laughs> Matthew one twenty five. But he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. <laughs> Cues up the song. <laughs> That's track six. This he started at five. Rob, we love you. GFM, I love you. Hey man, I love you too, brother. Be, some, be straight hey, out there, man. Get back to the States and we go from there. Yes, sir. Peace, bro. bro. One. Love, my love. Hold on, start it over. I miss the black you know the wood. Hey, we gotta go there. Uh, what do you say? It matter ye. We gotta do this in Columbia. Now we both bust back to the block. Hope you understand. Nation Biz gotta be on it. They kill a kid. We do it with finesse, though. Baby ballin' is up to test, yo. And it's wet, though. So I might head to in the ghetto. Or this nigga, Fanny Cole. Ha ha, a rap. Out here with the fancy mop, no you could All right, that's enough. If y'all want to listen to the rest, go listen to it. Cause them view, them views do need to do what they do. Cause it's a lot of hard work. And um, evil works hard, and I believe that good needs to start working just as much as evil. Go press play if you believe that too. And um, thank you to you and love to you and everybody in here who came and spent another episode with us on GFM, God-fearing man. And um, tomorrow, let me see who we got tomorrow. Tomorrow we got Scooter Chogs. Phone now. So we go from there. Everybody have phenomenal evenings. Hopefully this conversation that we had here today at GFM help you get over the hump of Wednesday itself. Pun intended. Love to everybody. Mighty.